This is the KTLA Morning News with Carlos Amesqua, McKenna Pereira, Mark Kriske, Sam Rubin, and the entire KTLA Morning News team. Also, Gail has a Tuesday torso tune-up. Gail, talk to me. Exactly right. You tune up your cars, now we can tune up our bodies. I'm at the Rodeo, brand new Rodeo Drive Plastic Surgery Center. They do all sorts of things. We're going to tell you about something new they do. It's called the Rodeo Drive Belly Button. It's a, it's a most unique kind of uh, tummy tuck. We'll show you how this works and uh, find out if you might need one. A lot better than doing crunches. We'll explain when we come back after this commercial break. Wow. My message to you. Tuesday, we're calling it Torso Tune-Up <laughs> Day. I don't yeah. know why. We're not looking at our own torsos. We're preferring to look at the ones down in Beverly Hills you where what? Gail... Amongst the four of us, there is a six-pack. I, I have at least a two-and-a-half-pack. Yeah. <laughs> two-and-a-half-pack. The Pilates yeah. has been helping, Gail. Yes, this is our new Tuesday Torso Tune-Up because, like, you go to, you know, get your car tuned up. It's about tuning up our bodies. Now, look at this. This is a real tune body. Don't we all hate her? Britney Spears... Please take note of her midriff. You know, all the kids have been wearing this style and some grown folks, uh, Beyonce, take a look at the midriff. Look, look, look. Okay, now how do you get that short of doing a bunch of crunches? Or if you're a mommy and you've had kids and you're a little, you know, stretched. Well, uh, Dr. Lloyd Krieger, who's here with me at the um, Rodeo Drive Plastic Surgery Center, he does something you call a what? Well, we do a Rodeo Drive belly button as part of our tummy tucks. All right, now let me show you how impressive this is. Now, the lady who's with us this morning doesn't want us to identify her. We're calling her Madam Y. Take a look at her before and after. Now, um, Madam Y, you've had children, is that it? Yes, I have a daughter who's four years old, and I had it C-section. And you were not happy with the tummy? No, it was just a bunch of loose skin that was sagging. Ah, and again, we cannot identify her, so um, that's why we're calling her Madam Y, so you were not happy. Now, um, their doctor, oh, and we wanted to show her live so the people know the picture's not airbrushed. <laughs> oh my gosh, and you gave her a belly button. Madam Y had sort of a funny looking belly button that was covered up with excess skin and fat. She was nice and loose, and I hope that she the baby... She was nice and loose. I hope her baby appreciates everything that she went through. During the during the childbearing and everything, and what we did was, what we did was we took out some extra skin. All right, now we're putting up the before with fat. the after, so people can see live just how amazing the final result is. We took out the extra skin and fat, uh -huh. and we actually had to make a new hole for the belly button once we pulled all this skin down, wow. nice and tight. We didn't want a floating belly button; we wanted it to look very natural and we wanted her to be able to wear some low rider jeans if she wanted Look at you. and a belly shirt maybe even get it pierced if she decides <gasps> to go that way so we gave her this beautiful rodeo drive belly button that would look as natural as possible gail and certainly better than what i know you're screaming mark yes mark uh, is this done all through the belly button or is there like a scar below the bikini line or is there the any scarring there is scarring. The scar is very well hidden, and that's why you can't see it today. Uh -huh. It's hidden in the bikini line, very low down. It's similar to a C-section scar, but longer. Now, I and understand I uh, that uh, liposuction on the belly or any of this, kind, this has got to be one of the most painful surgeries. Is this correct or not? That's not what my patients tell me. My patients tell me that it's about similar or less than a C-section. Is that right, of... Madam Y? Yes, it is. Okay, all right, go ahead. I'm sorry, go okay, ahead. Now Madam my turn. Y concurs. Oh, it's oh, not that there. painful. One at a time now. Go ahead, Michaela. Okay, now my turn. I'm just going to be devil's advocate. What go about ahead. just put back and away from the donuts and doing a few more crunches, maybe doing some cardio? What about that, doctor? Because I'm sure that you have people that are just deciding not to go the physical exercise route and just want the quick fix. What do you say uh, to them? Absolutely. There are certainly people that should be just going to the gym and the trainer. But for people who are getting tummy tucks, their muscles underneath are stretched out beyond repair. Oh. And there's no trainer in the world that's going to be able to s put those back together and, again. Uh, and so the what belly we do is now... we actually stitch the muscle all together to bring it back to where it was when Madam Y was 16 years old. And now, now wow. they can go to the gym again. Yeah. Is it different for guys? Because guys, that's, that's the problem area right here in the midsection. Mm -hmm. We would probably need that more than even women, except for, like you say, women who have children or whatever. But is it different for guys, the operation or anything, and our guys doing it? Guys are starting to do it, and the operation is surprisingly similar. We also put the scars down very low in the boxer line so that they're not perceptible in a bathing suit. And we tighten up the muscle to give a nice flat appearance, mm. and at the same time we remove the excess skin and fat. How much does it typically cost? 
all together with an operating room and an anesthesia staff anywhere between seventy five hundred and maybe nine thousand dollars and how talk to me about any side effects are there dangers involved because it, anytime you go under the knife it's always important to look at that absolutely and there are dangers in every surgery just as you say there's risks from having general anesthesia which is what we do during this procedure the procedure takes three or four hours okay. although in, with today's anesthesi anesthesiologists and technology that's probably the safest part of your day mm. is when you're asleep under anesthesia but it is a risk there can be some risks with some prolonged wound, wound healing the scars might be a little wider than we like for a little while it could take a while before they get nice and thin and flesh colored and lose that pink color um, and sometimes because we are working on such a wide area in the belly sometimes there's some fluid that can collect and what we can do is we can put some drains in to evacuate that <laughs> Sammy up next we're going to continue to try to tune up our torsos speak for yourself hey gal <laughs> Uh, that's right. We're tuning up our torsos here at Rodeo Drive Plastic Surgery. Today, the Rodeo Drive Tummy Tuck. What do I mean? Ladies, one, two, bam. They ain't got nothing. Britney Spears ain't got nothing on us. We'll explain when we come back. Look how nice. Let me see that again. Very nice. Don't want to do those thousand crunches? Well, it wouldn't do any good anyway, according to this doctor. Yeah, she's, she's got talking a lot of extra skin and stuff. Exactly. The doctor's talking about uh, uh, an extreme tune up for your belly, and Gail's calling it the Tuesday Torso Tune Up. That's belly right. Gales. And what we're looking at today is the what they call the Rodeo Drive Belly Button. Who cares about belly buttons? Well, we can thank this woman here, Britney Spears, with all them little hoochie mama outfits with her belly out. Uh, this was a fashion trend I missed. <laughs> I need one of these. Well, there's a procedure they're doing here at the, the Rodeo Drive Plastic uh, Surgery Facility. And we have some ladies here. Now, let me show you. I, I think they're so adorable and they're so excited. Here you go. Like the Rockettes. One, two, three. Woo! All right, close that up. All right, we're going to give you more details in a moment. We are, let me show you where we are. We're at uh, this facility. It's on Rodeo Drive. Uh, it's been here about a year, and we're with Dr. Lloyd Krieger. There's his information and his phone number and the website. The website is fascinating about all sorts of things. In another, another couple of weeks, we're going to talk to him about plastic surgery for men and what's going on with that. Um, we're here with Madam Y, because she doesn't want to be identified, but we want to show you the quality of the work here. I haven't really seen uh, this sort of thing before, but look how smooth and flat. She had children, and she was not happy, and so, Doctor, you got in there and uh, tightened all that up. We tightened up all the muscle and removed the extra skin and fat, right. gave her a nice flat belly. All right, now we're looking at the before and after on Cynthia. Now we're going to come around to the other side. Now look at the top, the before, stretch marks, and, and then you see the after below. And I just want you to know that um, they're not um, airbrushed. Uh, Cynthia, a, a parent? Yes, twice. <laughs> and so you're done with that now, right? I'm all done with that. And what do you think of this? Um, it's wonderful. Do you walk around like this? Yeah, I would walk around all, with my all stomach out. All the time. <laughs> hardly wear any clothes at all. All right. Now, what happened here, doctor? Well, same thing, Cynthia. I hope her babies are appreciative of all that she did for them. She wore out her belly with lots of extra skin, mm -hmm. stretch marks. No amount of the going to the gym right. helps with stretch marks, unfortunately. Right. And her muscle was nice and loose. So what we did was we actually removed the extra skin and fat and tightened up the muscle all the way up and down to bring her back together wow. give her a nice contour yes we and had an a email we had an email for, for the doctor from rose in huntington beach and she wanted to know can you ask the good doctor with gail if a woman can get pregnant again after one of these tummy tucks because you've been uh, talking about these women who had children good question that, that is a good question and the answer is that a woman can get pregnant after having a tummy is tummy. she going to need to have a tummy tuck again after then there's a chance. Most okay. of the time, people don't, and they'll do just fine once they've already had the skin and muscle tightened. But there is a chance that it could have to happen. But obviously, you're going to want to wait a certain amount of time before getting pregnant to stretch out all those muscles and, and the tissue in that area. Exactly. All right. Well, we wanted to show you. We just don't have enough time because it's amazing. Michelle Renee is another patient. Here is her before and after. Uh, Michelle, what was the idea? Why would you do this? Um... I lost a lot of weight and get rid of excess skin and help my back pain. Really? You had back pain before? No back pains anymore. And uh, again, doctor, uh, it's uh, sculpting here. Same thing. What we did was we removed a lot of extra fat and skin down here. 
pulled everything nice and tight. Wow. And as you can see, we gave her a natural looking belly button. And so she really looks quite natural in here. Are you, pl are you pleased with this, Michelle? Yes. Very, very pleased. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Gail, typically yes? recovery time, yes. one week. Uh, how, how much time you uh, have for it? I think it's a little bit more than one week when we go for a big procedure like this. Think about two weeks off from work for a, a tummy tuck. All right. All right. Uh, again, we are at the Rodeo Drive Plastic Surgery uh, the Complex here. They do all sorts of things here. We're going to um, talk to them more in another couple of weeks about what men are getting done. Uh -huh. Ladies, thank you so much. Congratulations. And I think I'm ready. Thank you, Gail. Thanks, Thanks so much. It's not for everybody. Make sure you talk with your doctors yes. before you even consider doing Don't something like this. Me. All right. Back in a moment. This year with you.